How expensive are our tastes of Emily's favorite foods? Let's talk about that. Good mythical morning. Today we're tasting a certain redheaded crew member's favorite dishes, which is a little ironic considering she's normally serving us food as either Patty right. the Goth, Karen the Candy Apple Witch, or even an inflatable turkey sandwich. I remember that turkey sandwich. So but elegant. Today, she just gets to sit on the sidelines and serve looks. Ain't that right, Emily? Yes, I'm so excited to do this. <laughs> you, you, Cause you're hungry? Yeah, I didn't eat lunch because I was so excited about this. Okay, so we'll make sure not to eat too much before we hand you our leftovers for you okay. to eat. Okay, yeah, 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 okay. sounds good. What if we love it so much that we eat all of it and you just get to watch us eat it? <laughs> That's not gonna happen. I'll yell at KG just to, to let loose. Okay, good. Okay. Is that cool, you Gotta KG? channel that aggression KG somewhere. Says, KG says it's cool. <laughs> it's time for Naked Foods, Naked Emily Edition. Naked. Remove your minds from the gutter, you scoundrels. Okay, cutie patooties. Today you'll be tasting some of Emily's favorite dishes at low, mid, high, and fancy price levels. Each round you'll pick your favorite, and by the end we'll see how expensive your taste is. First up, this is Thai red curry. This is Thai red curry? I think I forgot that I wasn't gonna be eating this. No, no, we'll, we'll pass it. We'll give you a little pass. <laughs> oh, okay. It. Y- any one I was of like, them. you're gonna get some tiny little plates out here. I can't wait to see them. <laughs> there aren't any. <laughs> I ate this last night. Oh, then you don't eat it again. Yeah, okay. <laughs> so this is one of your favorites, huh? It's so good. It is, this is a great especially choice. if you're like, it's good comfort food, if, especially if you're hungover. You ever, oh, are you? No. Actually, okay. no. <laughs> Actually, for once. You guys. Don't be. It's not the weekend. The first one's solid. That's good. Have you ever had it in Thailand? Never been to Thailand. I hear it's a good place to what travel about? for uh, ladies by themselves. Uh, yeah. What about Thailand? I took my wife there. I mean, I didn't leave her or anything. Oh, okay. This is uh, not even worth eat tasting. Oh, really? This is from a microwave. Well, I frozen. gotta do my job, man. I'm just telling you. It's so, much, it's so much not as good as that. Oh my gosh, it's horrible. Yeah, but if you were home alone. The, co- the, co- the carrots. If you were home alone and didn't have a point of reference, you might talk yourself into thinking you're having a good time with that. I don't know. Now this one. Coconut milk. Another solid entry. They love their coconut milk in Thailand. Mm-hmm. And, and their spiciness. And I do too. These are both... Mm. Pretty close. You come back to this one, though. But this one's a little creamier. Now, this has got blue rice. Emily, where do you get off with blue what rice? What in the come world on. Emily, happened to this rice? You've changed. <laughs> I want to ask, is it sticky rice? It's fancy. It doesn't taste blue. <laughs> do, they, do they say that when you go back home? Do they say, you've changed? No, not at all. <laughs> well, they're thinking it. No, I don't. Th- well, no. I think they're just as annoyed of me when I go home as they always were. <laughs> it's not like Emily keeps asking for that Thai food. We don't have any Thai food. No, they, no, we like Thai food. No, they got lots of Thai food. Like on every corner, they got mm-hmm. chicken thighs. Um, All right, I'm ready to view. Three, two, one. What? Bam! <laughs> Sorry. Link's also on this one. <laughs> it just fell off. I wanted you to like that because it's blue, but it's not as good. No. I have both chosen the high price point option from Soraya Thai Cuisine for sixteen ninety five. Oh, I've got That's Soraya. That's not bad for high. Soraya, but it's not acting up right now. <laughs> oh, I have Soraya. No, you just <laughs> oh. The next one in is the low price point. Amy's Frozen from Sorry, Ralph's. Amy. For six ninety nine, Amy. and then the mid price point pad Thai bistro for thirteen, and finally the blue rice, which is a uh, pea pea flower pea pea flower, mm-hmm. uh, is from our fancy option from Farmhouse Kitchen for twenty one ninety five. Just because you can make the rice blue doesn't, doesn't mean you have mean to. <laughs> you have to. <laughs> it ain't good as that. This is shrimp tempura udon. 
This is shrimp tempura udon. <laughs> yeah. Tempura tempura. I don't know what was wrong with that. It sounded right and wrong at the same yeah, time. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, I can't tell you what was wrong with it. Tem- tem- I love a good udon. Look tem- at that. It's so thick. Mm. Uh, udon. I don't want to udon right back into your bowl here, Emily. So I'm going to udon right here on the table. I don't care. It's good no matter what. Mm hmm. Is that what we're doing? We're just like hiding extra udon? Give me one of these. Shrimps? I can't find a shrimp for me. What is that? Oh, sorry. What is that? I only get. It's not shrimp. I don't even get a. That's a green shrimp. What is that? What is that? You got the rest of that. Is it B? Yeah, I want part of the shrimp. Okay. So it's not really shrimp tempura, it's tempura, and there just happens to be a shrimp in it. I didn't even use this, I just held it. <laughs> what do you do when Don does something gross? What do you say? Ooh, Don! <laughs> I mean, I got such a little udon right here. Speak for, your, <laughs> speak for yourself. Speak for yourself. Speak for yourself and your little udon. <laughs> um, that first, this udon's a little al dente. Al dente udon. What do you, what do you say to to Al when he when he uh, goes to the dentist? Al, <laughs> Al Denton. What what do you what Al what am I looking dente. for in this? Udon? I get it. I, I just don't. Udon's not my thing. What am I looking for? Well, I I like chewy stuff. I'm a big like gummies fan. Things that yeah. are chewy. That doesn't look like udon. The, this <laughs> no, is some this is some frozen crap. I don't even want to eat it. Somebody <laughs> lied to us. Um, Maybe I'll like it the most, though. I'm an Udon fan. When I lived in New York, I used to, when I worked retail, mm. on my lunch break in the winter, I would go to this place that gave you a styrofoam thing of Udon. Uh-huh. You eat all of it, but you keep the broth, and then I'd walk into really fancy stores and make them nervous and drink the broth walking around. <laughs> <laughs> that, like shopping? Yeah. Or other like, I'd go into like the fancier stores with this big thing of broth and make That would make go, me nervous. Ugh. I'll be honest with you. <laughs> But I like it because it's chewier. It's like doughy. You know what I mean? I do like it. Now that you've called it like gummy I mean, bear, like I mean, it is big. Yeah, it's, it's like a gummy worm. It's like if ramen had conviction. Hmm. Oh really? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. You think ramen needs more backbone? Uh, yeah, it needs more backbone. <laughs> hmm. Okay. And shrimp chupura rules like. Hmm. One of these is dramatically better to me, and I'm going to vote for it because that's my job. Three, two, one. The, the broth in this one is the tastiest. I thought that this one was was second, but that one is the best. The breading is tastier. Everything's tastier over here. You've agreed again, and you've both chosen the mid price point oh, option. Mid, so huh? So mid. She so. <laughs> Su, she. Oh, God. She, so, she, so. she, so what? She, so. She, she so sushi for eleven fifty. Um, the first one is the high price point option from Kabuki Japanese restaurant for sixteen fifty. Then the next one is the fancy option from Sushi Dan for eighteen ninety five. And the oh, third Dan. one is uh, the low price point option, uh, Nongshim. For two ninety nine. Yeah, Nongshim is just doing their own thing over here. Yeah, they are. Sushi well, Dan is like if if just like one of the guys you went to high school with opened up a place, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. you know. But I think it probably means something else. I love Sushi language. Dan. Yeah. <laughs> and what if Dan does something gross? Ooh, Dan! <laughs> Happy Earth Day! And as we do with every Earth Day, we make a T shirt that benefits the Earth when you buy it. So check this thing out. It says, make Make it a a more more mythical mythical world. world. And it's ocean themed. And um, you know, this is available for 48 hours. It's the only time you can buy it. It's a nice shirt, I like it. A portion of the proceeds from the sale of this tea will be donated to Paddy, P-A-D-I, whose mission is to drive local action for global ocean conservation. And they do that through citizen science, public policy, and community grants. For over 30 years, Patty and Aware have built a truly unique voice for the protection of the underwater world. Mm. And you're helping by buying this shirt at mythical.com for the next 48 hours. 48 hours. Get it for yourself. <laughs> These 
are cream cheese wontons. These are cream cheese wontons. Okay. Boy, these are, I'm always happy when I see these. Yeah. Always. And that's, that's my it. Super Bowl thing I bring. I go to Panda Express and get crab and cheese wontons and just bring a ton of those. And everybody's happy. Okay. Oh yeah. Everybody's happy. So you if you look at the look at the um the oh. different configuration here. This is by far that one's kind of the same as that you one. You don't this is this is you know doo doo. This is frozen. Because if you do this and you freeze it, they uh, they break off and so they had to resort to like dumpling style. Mmm. Mm. That's oniony and cheesy. Mm-hmm. Got some chives in there, which I wasn't expecting, but I'm definitely welcoming. No crab. You said crab. There's no crab in these. Yeah, I these usually like the, the crab, but not everybody has that. And then you just go, well, the cheese is always good. Yeah. <laughs> it's mm -hmm. Okay. That first one is very good. Panda Express, huh? You swing by the panda. Yeah. When you go to parties. Yep. I did it for an Oscar party. This is not bad. I'm just, you know, it's just for something you could buy and like put in your oven. I'm pretty happy. Yeah, it's blander than the first one. Um, somehow they did a little, they got the points to be crispier. Very crispy points, very. How do very you get your points crispy? Very <laughs> soft bottom. Ooh. Uh-oh. I mean, that's almost like a little cheesecake dollop hidden in there. It doesn't have the chives, but it's got something else. Okay. Yeah, this, this is a good choice. For me, this is like, this isn't a dessert, is it? This is an appetizer. No, it's an appetizer. Okay. Or if you live alone, it's a breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Gotcha. Three, two, one. We have disagreed for the first time today. I really like the chives and the, the way good. that this is fried. This it, is, those are excellent. So Link, you have chosen the mid price point option from Pickup again. Sticks. It's three for three twenty nine. Pickup Sticks. Oh, get them. And the second one in is the low price point option from Pagoda uh, at Ralph's for three for uh, one fifty. And that means Rhett, you have chosen the fancy option. And today we're switching things up. Last episode and maybe a, a couple of episodes, you guys haven't been picking the fancy things. No, we haven't. Yeah, we forgot. Um, and apparently we've gotten all the way up to trying something the writers are calling uh, fancy trousers schnauzers, which involves this dog and some kind of dance you're about to do now. So fancy pants became trousers and then trouser led to schnauzer. Quiet, I'm dancing with my schnauzer. <laughs> When I'm dancing with my schnauzer, don't speak. It's about me and my dog. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. He loves this. He loves this. He loves this. It's not over. <gasps> oh. oh. Ooh, Dan. Dan. I was a little dizzy. I was a little dizzy. <laughs> um, and the fancy uh, dish is from Good Day Thai Kitchen, three for five dollars. They got the crispy points. Three, five dollars, still kind of cheap. This is creme brulee. This is creme brulee. Yeah. <laughs> brulee. <laughs> Brr. Um, it's, and it is a, oh, they're all fancy. Creme brulee is always a little bit fancy because yeah. it involves oh. that last step, you know? Yeah. Which is the brulee part. They burn it with now, baby torch. Oh, yeah. Now, this one doesn't have a it's ramekin. Not, it's not in anything. It's it's uncontained. How crispy is the top of this one? It could be crispier, to be honest with you. It's got a nice taste to it, though. This looks I like, do like cat the taste. food. <laughs> yeah, this like is a, obviously for the bachelor. They just popped it open. <laughs> you know, it's for the divorced dad. He wants to feel fancy by himself. Sorry, I just really. I wonder if, it, if the top was popped and then it was blazed. Or did it come pre-blazed? It comes pre-blazed. No. You think a dad's gonna do this? Uh-uh. Takes a little lighter out? I don't, but I just wondered if Lily did it. Did you, Lily? <gasps> did you blaze any of this? You back there blazing this? If she blazed it, then I feel like she's cheating. Yeah, because that's not naked. Because a dad wouldn't do that. 
We'll yeah. have we'll have to find out. <laughs> I was thinking like, what is the female version of a bachelor? And then I remembered, oh yeah, there's a show for that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you just add the a bachelorette. Et. You add an et. <laughs> Second one's not bad, but not not good. Hmm. Oh, that's rich. Whoa. Whoa, it keeps going. It's, it's got some complexity. It's very flavorful. There's something in it. What is that? It's like um It's either creme or brulee. No, it's it's very pungent. There's a pungency to it. Hmm. It's a bit much for me. And the the candiedness is um also very aggressive. It's a thick candy. This one's not thick enough though. This hasn't been blazed. Dad forgot about something. Yeah, he was about to blaze it. I mean, it really just tastes like an egg custard. Okay. Isn't it custard? I honestly don't even know what it is. I think it is eggs. I think it's egg custard of, of sorts. Right? Mm -hmm. Billy <laughs> says it is. All right. One of my favorite foods? I don't know what it is. <laughs> Three. One, head and shoulders above the rest. Two. One. Is you? I don't what? need no ramekin, man. That's no, man. That's so rich. This is the best one. This is too much. I bet you this is fancy. It's so well, rich. Link, you've chosen the low price point option, uh, favorite day from Target. Uh, <laughs> what for three ninety five? Yeah, so, so it's easily accessible. Does it come in that? Well, the thing is, is I've learned that two of these Lily did have to torch. So that was one that you, but you could also use like your broiler and your oven. Okay. Um, and then the other one was the very last dish, which oh. is the mid price point option from Cafe Taramo for five fifty that came with like the sugar and instructions on the side. Oh. You're saying this is high or fancy? Uh the second one in is the high price point option from Pompadour for eleven ninety five. And Rhett, you've done it again. You've chosen the fancy option from Ocean Prime Beverly Hills for $17, and you may do the fancy trousers schnauzers. Oh, really? Are Give you ready? Schnauzers do you want your brother to join you? Yes. Oh, yes. Double doggy time. It's our favorite time. We do the double doggy time. It's so fancy. They love it. They both love it. They both love this. Don't you love it? <laughs> Oh, you guys are so cute. <laughs> okay, the Smells. lowest possible total combined today was 1543 and the highest was 16 I'm oh, sorry, 60 oh. 290. Rhett, your perfect Emily meal total was 5045. Okay. And Link, yours was 3569. Yeah. You get twice the food if you want. Getting off with a steal. I can be just as happy as you and spend half the amount of money. I actually think that's what you already do. <laughs> <laughs> what about you, Emily? I didn't have to spend any money. That's yep. true. Thanks for subscribing and clicking that bell. You know what time it is. I'm Krispy Kreme. And I'm Peanut Butter Brian. And we're in the Chicago Museum of Ice Cream. And, and it's time to spin the Wheel of Mythicality. <laughs> oh, they let kids in there? Yeah. yeah. Click the top link to watch us build our ideal first date in Good Mythical More. And to find out where the Wheel of Mythicality is going to land. On Earth Day and every day, let's do our part in making it a more mythical world. Start by spreading the word with this limited edition tea available now at mythical.com.